The book of Colossians is, is a phenomenal book. It really is a book about the supremacy of Christ, but it answers a lot of questions that were on the heart and the lips of the pastor of the church in Colossae who happened to be Epaphras. And Epaphras had concerns, and some of those concerns are very similar to the concerns we have today. Uh, for instance, was Jesus just a prophet, a moral teacher, an ascended master, or was he the son of God? And more specifically, was he God? Another question they were struggling with is, does it matter what we eat? Does it matter what we eat, either ceremonial, ceremonial with the Old Testament covenant? Does it matter what we eat, if we're vegan or if we like lao lao and pork hash? Does it matter? Does it matter what day we worship on? Are we still bound by the Old Testament covenant of the Sabbath? Are we bound by the day of the Sabbath? Or are we bound by the Sabbath at all? Those are questions that they were facing. Is harsh treatment of the body a successful remedy for overcoming sin? In other words, can we discipline ourselves and self-discipline ourselves into perfection? Is it possible for a person by virtue of the harsh treatment of the body actually to work their way into a place of not just sinless perfection, because that's, that's, that's not even a biblical concept uh, as it relates to this fallen life that we're in, but is it possible for a person to get incrementally better by, by harsh treatment of the body? Is it okay to mix the teachings of Christ with the teachings of other religions, and most notably, Eastern mysticism, which was a problem in Colossae at that time, a problem here in Kauai as well? And the final question, aren't all religions in the end leading to the same God? Isn't Allah the same as Yahweh, as same as the Hindu gods and the pantheistic approach they have? Isn't the same as every god of every religion? Perhaps we're all just pursuing the same god of a different name, and the door is all going to lead, these paths all lead to the same door, which is the eternal kingdom of heaven. These are problems and, and theological issues the church in Colossae was facing. And there, there are issues that we face as well. Most of you, just as I went through these, you, you, you already know the answers to these questions. But what Paul was presenting to the church in Colossae was not just an understanding, no, that's wrong, yes, that's right, no, that's wrong, no, that's not right. What he was presenting was a doctrine and a theology that they could present to other people and explain themselves why these things are either right or wrong and how we can be found in the perfect will of God. And so this morning, I want to give an introduction to this book.